Unit 7 Recipes and Eating Habits Page 6 Getting Started Activity 1 Listen and read Today we're making a prawn salad, which is a favourite of mine. Fantastic! I love salad. The salad is simple but delicious. Here are the ingredients. Prawns, celery, spring onion, mayonnaise, lemon juice, salt and pepper. What should I do first, Mum? Get a big bowl for me. And then, can you wash the celery? Sure. I can wash the spring onions if you like, Mrs Warner. Please do. I'll boil the prawns. So, do English people eat lots of salad? Yes, especially in the summertime. People often serve salad as a starter, but salads also make a healthy lunch or supper. You're right. They're so versatile, and you can put anything in a salad. Mum, the prawns are pink now. They're pink? Yes. Good. They're ready. I'll drain them. Nick, can you peel them? Me, could you chop the celery and spring onions? You should be careful if you use the red knife. It's sharp. Right. Everything's ready. What do we do next? Okay. First combine the prawns and celery in the bowl. Add two tablespoons of mayonnaise, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and some lemon juice. Now mix all the ingredients well. Okay. Finally, add the spring onion on top. Now we cover the bowl and leave it in the fridge for an hour. You've done a good job, both of you. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, I'm starving. An hour is a long time. Unit 7 Page 8 Getting Started Activity 2 Write the name of each dish in the box under each picture. A. Cobb salad B. Sushi C. Steak pie D. Fajitas E. Lasagna F. Mango sticky rice. G. Beef noodle soup. H. Curry. Unit 7. Page 10. A closer look, 1. Pronunciation Activity 5 Listen to the conversations. Draw a falling arrow or rising arrow at the end of each line. Practice the conversations with a partner. 1. What do we need to make a pizza? A pizza base, some cheese, some bacon, an onion and an apple. An apple? Yes, an apple. Two. What's for dinner? We're eating out tonight. We're eating out? Right. Three. I can't eat this dish. Why not? I'm allergic to prawns. Allergic to prawns? Yes. My skin turns red when I eat them. Unit 7 Page 13 Communication Activity 2A Now, listen to the first part of a talk where me is presenting how to prepare the ingredients. Check your answers. Part 1 
Pumpkin soup is my family's favorite soup. We usually have it for breakfast with some slices of bread. It's quick and simple to cook. The ingredients are a kilo of pumpkin, two shallots, two sticks of celery, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of fresh cream, and a pinch of salt. Before cooking, peel the pumpkin and chop it into cubes. Peel the shallots and slice them. Next, wash the celery and remove the leaves. Unit seven, page thirteen. Communication. Activity three C. Listen to the second part again. What are the health benefits of this dish? Part two. Here are the steps to make the soup. Heat the butter in a deep pan, add the shallots and celery, and stir fry for a few minutes. Add the pumpkin and stir fry for a few more minutes. Add 750 milliliters of water and a pinch of salt, and cook until the pumpkin is tender. Cool for 10 minutes. Puree the soup in a mixer until it is smooth. Add the cream and simmer for two to three minutes. For the finishing touch, garnish it with some celery leaves. Pumpkin soup is very healthy. It's a good source of fiber, minerals and vitamins, especially vitamin A. If you eat this soup regularly, you can improve your eyesight and protect yourself from certain cancers. Unit 7 Page 13 Communication Activity 2B Listen to the first part of the talk again. Fill each blank with a word or phrase. Part 1 Pumpkin soup is my family's favorite soup. We usually have it for breakfast with some slices of bread. It's quick and simple to cook. The ingredients are a kilo of pumpkin, two shallots, two sticks of celery, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of fresh cream, and a pinch of salt. Before cooking, peel the pumpkin and chop it into cubes. Peel the shallots and slice them. Next, wash the celery and remove the leaves. Unit 7 Page 15 Skills 2 Listening Activity 2 14 Radio is asking two students about their eating habits. Listen to what they say and decide if the statements are true or false. I don't have a proper breakfast. I never have time because I always get up late. Normally, my mum buys a packet of biscuits and I have some on the school bus. At lunchtime, I'm always hungry. So I have a hamburger, a packet of crisps, and a cola. I can easily get them at the school canteen. For dinner, I like fried beef, noodles, and eggs. I don't really eat vegetables because they aren't tasty. My mum says my eating habits are unhealthy. I'm thinking about changing them. If I continue eating like this, I may become overweight. My brother doesn't have healthy eating habits but I do. For breakfast, I usually have a bowl of cereal, a glass of milk, and a banana. It's important to start a new day with a good breakfast, so I tend to have nutritious things. I don't buy lunch at school. Instead, I prepare my lunch box with two slices of bread, a boiled egg, and salad. Sometimes, my mom makes sushi for my lunch. In the evening, 
My mom and I cook dinner. My favorite is steamed fish. Lean grilled chicken is also a dish I like for dinner.